The Truth About Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lynn Lopez, born July 24, 1969, also known by her nickname J-Lo, is an American actress, singer, dancer, fashion designer, producer, and businesswoman. In 1991, Lopez began appearing as a fly girl dancer on In Living Color, where she remained a regular until she decided to pursue an acting career in 1993. For her first leading role in the 1997 Selena biopic of the same name, Lopez became the first Latin actress to earn over one million U.S. dollars for a film. She went on to star in Anaconda, 1997, and Out of Sight, 1998, and subsequently established herself as one of the highest paid Latin actresses worldwide. Jennifer Lopez is considered a global cultural icon, and is often described as a triple threat entertainer. Lopez ventured into the music industry with her debut studio album on the 6, 1999, which helped propel the Latin pop movement in American music. With the simultaneous release of her second studio album J-Lo and her romantic comedy The Wedding Planner in 2001, Lopez became the first woman to have a number one album and film in the same week. Her 2002 release, J to Tha L-O, the remixes, became the first remix album in history to debut atop the U.S. Billboard 200. Later that year, she released her third studio album This Is Me. Then, and starred in the U.S. box office number one film Made in Manhattan. After starring in Jiggly, 2003, a critical and commercial failure, Lopez subsequently starred in the successful romantic comedy Shall We Dance? 2004, and Monster in Law, 2005. Her fifth studio album, Como Amo Una Muger, 2007, received the highest first week sales for a debut Spanish album in the United States. Following a professionally quieter period, she returned to prominence in 2011 with her appearance as a judge on American Idol, and released her seventh studio album Love. From 2016 to 2018, she starred in the New York City police drama series Shades of Blue and performed a residency show, Jennifer Lopez, All I Have, at Planet Hollywood Las Vegas. Since 2017, Lopez has produced and served as a judge on World of Dance. In 2019, she garnered critical acclaim for her performance as a stripper in the crime drama Hustlers. With a cumulative film gross of 3.1 billion US dollars and estimated global sales of 70 million records, Lopez is regarded as the most influential Latin entertainer in North America. In 2012, Forbes ranked her as the most power celebrity in the world, as well as the 38th most powerful woman in the world. Time listed her among the 100 most influential people in the world in 2018. Her most successful singles on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 include, If You Had My Love, I'm Real, Ain't It Funny, All I Have, and On the Floor, the latter most of which is one of the best-selling singles of all time. For her contributions to the recording industry, Lopez has received a landmark star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Billboard Icon Award, and the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award among other honors. Her other ventures include beauty and clothing lines, fragrances, a production company, and a charitable foundation. Early life, Jennifer Lynn Lopez was born on July 24, 1969, in the Bronx borough within New York City, to Puerto Rican parents Guadalupe Rodriguez and David Lopez. She has an older sister, Leslie, and a younger sister, Linda, who is a journalist. David worked the night shift at the Guardian Insurance Company before becoming a computer technician at the firm, while Guadalupe was a homemaker. When Lopez was born, the family was living in a small apartment in the Castle Hill neighborhood. A few years later, her parents had saved up enough money to be able to purchase a two-story house, which was considered a significant accomplishment for the relatively poor family. At the age of five, Lopez began taking singing and dancing lessons. She toured Manhattan with her school when she was seven years old. Her parents stressed the importance of work ethic and being able to speak English. They encouraged their three daughters to put on performances at home, singing and dancing in front of each other and their friends so that they would stay out of trouble. Lopez spent her entire academic career in Catholic schools, finishing at Preston High School in the Bronx. In school, Lopez participated in gymnastics, ran track on a national level, and was a member of the school's softball team. She excelled athletically rather than academically, competing in national track championships, career and musical achievements. After working in several television dance shows and small budget films, Jennifer Lopez starred in a number of highly successful Hollywood movies by 1995. She rose to prominence as a global pop icon after the release of her debut album, On the Six. The album garnered positive reviews and sold more than 8 million copies worldwide. Her second studio album, J. Lo, debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, selling more than 272,300 copies in its first week. Lopez has released her third studio album, 
This Is Me Then, in 2002. The album spawned massive hits such as Jenny from the Block and All I Have, and sold more than 2.5 million copies in the United States alone. After scoring a string of successful albums, she recorded her fifth studio album, Como Amona Muger in 2007. It received the highest first week sales in the United States for a Spanish album and the highest digital sales. After parting ways with Epic Records, Lopez launched the Dance Again World Tour following the release of her seventh studio album Love, and amassed more than $1 million per show. Her comeback single, On the Floor, topped the charts worldwide and became the highest selling song of the year. Lopez's 2014 studio album aka spawned hit singles such as I Love Ya Poppy, First Love, and Booty. 2018 present, Hustlers and Super Bowl Live Halftime Show, in April 2018, Lopez launched her limited edition makeup collection in collaboration with Inglot Cosmetics. That month, she was named one of Time's 100 Most Influential People in the World, and released a new Spanish single, El Analo. The following month, she released a bilingual single titled Dinero, featuring DJ Kild and Cardi B with earnings of $47 million between June 2017 and June 2018. Forbes listed Lopez as the sixth highest paid woman in music. In December 2018, Lopez starred in the comedy film Second Act, directed by Peter Siegel. She also produced the film, and recorded the single Limitless for its soundtrack. Second Act earned mixed reviews from critics, but performed well at the box office, grossing over $72.2 million worldwide with a production budget of $16 million. In February 2019, Lopez announced that she will be embarking on her first concert tour in nearly seven years to celebrate her upcoming 50th birthday. In January 2021, Lopez launched her skincare line, JLO Beauty. That month, she performed at the inauguration of President Joe Biden in Washington, D.C., where she sang This Land Is Your Land and America the Beautiful, whilst also reciting the last phrase of the Pledge of Allegiance in Spanish. Personal Life Lopez's personal life has been the subject of widespread media attention. From February 22, 1997 to January 1998, she was married to Cuban waiter Ojani Noah. Since their brief marriage, Lopez has endured many legal troubles regarding her relationship with Noah. In April 2006, she sued to prevent him from publishing a book about their marriage, contending that it violated their confidentiality agreement. The following year, a court-appointed arbitrator issued a permanent injunction forbidding Noah from criticizing, denigrating, casting in a negative light or otherwise disparaging Lopez. She was awarded $545,000 in compensatory damages and Noah was ordered to hand over all copies of materials related to the book to Lopez or her attorney. A lawsuit regarding a compromising private honeymoon video in Noah's possession is presently running. While working on her debut album on the 6, Lopez began dating record producer and rapper Sean Combs. On December 27, 1999, the couple was arrested along with two others in connection with a shooting outside a Times Square club. They were charged with criminal possession of a weapon as well as stolen property. Lopez was soon exonerated, having had nothing to do with the crime. However, Combs was charged and indicted by a Manhattan grand jury. After leaving Combs, Lopez developed a relationship with former backup dancer Chris Judd, to whom she was married from September 29, 2001, to June 2002. Following her second divorce due to irreconcilable differences, she commenced a high-profile relationship with actor and filmmaker Ben Affleck, to whom she became engaged in November 2002. The media began to refer to them as Bonifer, and they became a prominent super couple in the media and popular culture. Bonifer became a popular term, which was eventually entered into urban dictionaries and neologism dictionaries, as the name blend started the trend of other celebrity couples being referred to by the combination of their first names. The couple postponed their nuptials indefinitely a day prior to the planned ceremony in September 2003, citing the media's interference with the event as the reason. Anthony and Lopez, 2006, Lopez's breakup with Affleck in January 2004 was her first real heartbreak. She described her next relationship, with her longtime friend, Mark Anthony, real name, Marco Antonio Muniz, as an attempt to find someone who could make me feel loved and wanted in my loneliest hour. Thinking back, maybe deep down I knew that this was a band-aid on the cut. She married Anthony that June, and lived in Brookville, New York. Two men attempted to ransom a private wedding video that was stolen from the couple for $1 million. However, these men were arraigned in Manhattan Criminal Court on charges of conspiracy, attempted grand larceny and possession of stolen property. On November 7, 2007, during the final night of their co-headlining tour, Lopez and Anthony officially confirmed that they were expecting their first child. 
The announcement ended months of speculation over the pregnancy. Her father confirmed that the couple were expecting twins, revealing that it runs in the family. My sister also had twins, so it's a hereditary thing. Lopez, who is a Roman Catholic, has stated that her faith discouraged her from pursuing in vitro fertilization treatment while trying to get pregnant. Lopez gave birth to a son and a daughter on Long Island, on February 22, 2008. The twins were introduced in the March 11, 2008, issue of People, for which the magazine paid a reported six million U.S. dollars. The photographs of the twins became the most expensive celebrity picture ever taken at the time. Three years later in July 2011, the couple announced their split, with Anthony filing for divorce in April 2012. Their divorce was finalized on June 16, 2014, with Lopez retaining primary physical custody of the two children. On December 31, 2014, she legally changed her name back to Jennifer Lopez, dropping Anthony's last name, Muniz. Lopez had an on-off relationship with her former backup dancer Casper Smart from October 2011 to August 2016. She subsequently began dating former New York Yankees baseball player Alex Rodriguez the following February. In March 2019, they announced their engagement. In March 2018, Lopez opened up about her own Me Too movement story of being sexually harassed by a director early on in her career, when she was asked to take her top off during one of her first films. Lopez has also been an active advocate for the Times Up movement. Political activism, Lopez is an avid supporter of LGBT rights, and has raised millions of dollars for HIV AIDS research. In June 2013, AMFR presented Lopez with his humanitarian award for her philanthropic work. In September, she was awarded the Ally for Equality Award presented by the Human Rights Campaign, for her support of the LGBT community. The following year, she received the GLAAD Vanguard Award. In July 2016, Lopez released a single entitled Love Make the World Go Round, a collaboration with Lin-Manuel Miranda, which benefits victims of the Orlando nightclub shooting. She was also featured on the song Hands along with numerous other artists, also benefiting those affected by the Orlando shooting. Among numerous other artists, Lopez signed an open letter from Billboard magazine to the United States Congress in 2016, which demanded action on gun control. Lopez endorsed President Barack Obama in his 2012 presidential campaign, speaking in television advertisements and attending a fundraising event for Obama in Paris. She endorsed Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton in 2016, headlining a free concert in Florida in support of her that October. In June 2020, Lopez attended a Black Lives Matter movement protest in Los Angeles, in connection with the broader George Floyd protests. Artistry, influences and musical style, Lopez has been influenced by artists such as Tina Turner, James Brown, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Barbara Streisand, and Lady Gaga. Growing up, she was influenced by Latin music styles ranging from salsa to bachata, but it was the 1979 hip-hop song Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang that she said changed her life. She was also hugely inspired in her youth by Rita Moreno's performance in the 1961 musical film West Side Story. Lopez has cited Janet Jackson as a major inspiration for her own dance and videos, stating that she probably started dancing because of Jackson's music video for The Pleasure Principle. According to author Ed Morales in The Latin Beat, The Rhythms and Roots of Latin Music from Bossa Nova to Salsa and Beyond, 2003, Lopez's music explores the romantic innocence of Latin music, while strongly identifying with hip-hop. Her debut album on the six fuses the influence of Latin music with R&B and hip-hop, which Lopez described as Latin soul. To the contrary, Morales described it as state-of-the-art dance pop. D. Lockett, writing for the Chicago Tribune, stated that songs such as Waiting for Tonight made Lopez arguably the leading artist in the dance pop movement at the time. While primarily sung in English, she speaks in Spanish and asserts her Latin heritage throughout the album, which is apparent in the song Let's Get Loud. She has also recorded bilingual songs, including the Latin pop song Carino, for her second album J. Lo. A departure from her previous albums, This Is Me, then blends 1970s soul with streetwise hip-hop. Described as autobiographical, much of Lopez's music has centered around the ups and downs of love. The lyrical content of This Is Me, then is largely focused on her relationship with Ben Affleck, with the song Dear Ben being described as the album's glowing centerpiece. Her first full-length Spanish-language album, Como Amo Una Muger features introspective lyrics about romance, heartache and self-loathing. When explaining her seventh studio album Love, Lopez stated, there's still so much to learn and that's why the question mark. Other recurrent themes in Lopez's music have included her upbringing in the Bronx and women's empowerment. 
Critics have considered Lopez's voice to be limited, and overshadowed by the production of her music, while remaining radio-friendly. Rob Sheffield of Rolling Stone remarked, Instead of strained vocal power techniques, Lopez sticks to the understated R&B murmur of a round-the-way superstar who doesn't need to belt because she knows you're already paying attention. She makes a little va va and a whole lot of voom go a long way. Meanwhile, all music Stephen Thomas Erline called her voice slight and wrote, Lopez was never, ever about singing. She was about style. Entertainment Weekly criticized her vocal performance for lacking the trademark husky-voiced voluptuousness she has in her films. J.D. Considine of the Baltimore Sun regards Lopez as having a breathy stylistic range, but lacking personality.